Hello, welcome back to the channel. So you probably already know that most of my content is Red Dead Online, but I do like to dabble in a few survival games here and there. And when the PlayStation 5 drops really soon, I have a pre-paid purchase. So hopefully I'm going to get that soon and there will be plenty more survival games dropping on that. But right now we have a little bit of info on Rust and that is coming to console soon and also there's a big Stranded Deep update that's dropped recently and I'm going to be covering all the stuff on that so stay tuned and enjoy the show. So people noticed the Rust console edition closed beta and you could download it on Xbox and that is basically they are doing a little bit of testing so there was a quite a bit of hype that this would um, be the release real soon and it ain't too far away they are saying December still but um, it could come before then they are just uh, testing out the beta and getting it up and ready so it's not open yet it was just put onto the store and they could like jump in and do some testing and that's pretty much the confirmation of who it was but it was nice to get the some more info on rust and hopefully we can all dabble into a bit of rust soon I c i'm eager to get my mitts on that one and start playing it so then the stranded deep update they've added this new splash green so it looks pretty wicked um it's a nice little intro there so um other new things added the main thing is going to be the storage on raft now you can put storage crates on raft containers um they have tweaked the hdr brightness so apologies if it looks a bit dark i think it messed with it a little bit you can toggle third person now so i've tried this out <laughs> i quite like the character it's pretty funny with that thing on their head bit of a peach on her too um, but that thing would look a lot better if it was something like a compass compass on top of a head. I think that would look wicked. For some reason now you could walk straight through your containers. Um, so yeah that got tweaked in amongst the updates. Usually I knock them everywhere but yeah I haven't played this game in a long time. So yeah you can run straight through those now. I did check to see if the shirt goes see through and you can't get a full frontal view. But someone tell her she has got a hole under her right shoulder there, right in the armpit. You can farm yucca now, so if you cut down the yucca plant, the big tree, um, there's that thing right there. It's hard to pick up, so cutting yucca is a thing now and planting and farming it is a thing. So running around constantly f chopping it is kind of a thing of the past now. You can have your yucca farm. Um, let me just show you how you get this because it is kind of awkward to find it's that little piece there on the tree the one little bit that yucca seed right there or yucca fruit it's called and you just it's hard to hover over it but once you get the the prompts there you can just pick it up and I'll show you a plant in it too because um, you know people will say I'm lying <laughs> so I'm gonna prove it here we go you can plant it right there in your wood farming plot I'm not sure how long it takes to grow I did wait and I got a bit anxious but it wasn't ready <laughs> I got a bit eager on that one so yeah I'll show you the container shelf this is what everyone's gonna be raving about because this was a massive thing um, you couldn't store containers on a raft and thanks for my video it got 80k views so yeah I, I kind of profited from that <laughs> but yeah you can store a uh, free to one container shelf you can also put on canopies now and light in hooks so I've added a canopy just behind me there and a light hook but for the life of me I couldn't put a light or a torch on this so write in the comments how is this being done or is this just saying added and got broken again I don't know they say they've added improvement improvements to refunding visuals. I'm not sure if that is what it is. I'm not going to judge. Um, the new cloud sort of effects and visuals. So the clouds are looking neat. I'm not sure I've looked up too much to be honest in this game. 
but yeah it looks pretty sweet um they've also added like water light refraction and light shadowing particles and sound effects so they've added improvements visually wise too and the hdr brightness so i'm going to turn that down because i think it was a little too high they've also fixed issues with steering the steering is a lot better and that is a major thing in stranded deep now so you can steer left to right on consoles a lot better now other fixes and adjustments they have fixed issues with deleted islands reappearing on restart they fix short elements shift in position on reload they fix stuttering between islands causing loss of raft and the gyro also the re-render range has been fixed now so when you when your island renders in it shouldn't stutter so much and stuff um fixed an issue which prevented the inventory from auto stacking correctly fixed underwater lighting refraction causing visual disruption during gameplay logs dropped under the character sent you vertically sometimes that's been fixed also issues causing difficulty interacting with rafts it's a lot better now hopping onto a raft i must say i've noticed that uh sales being in correct position on game load i don't think i've encountered that but that's been fixed remaining in midair upon moving the raft that's life raft paddle remaining in the air sorry so that no longer happens they fixed an issue with the lionfish causing poison after after it's safe capture so where basically after you've captured it, it poisons you but that's been fixed issues with players being unable to place crafted building sections all fixed sorry if i'm butchering this a little bit <laughs> interacted button prompt not being present disappearing when performing actions issues that cause the interaction prompts not being displayed upon approaching a sunken boat's ladder i don't even know what half of this is but it's all been fixed multiple tools can now be added to the toolbar adjusted adjusted raft steering that's what i was talking about it's better now and also shark aggression speed has been adjusted so that is all the fixes and everything added hope you've enjoyed this one if it's been helpful then just smash the thumbs up drop me a like uh comment any of your thoughts down below how to get that torch on the hook would be great and also jump in the discord if you're new subscribe to the channel because i'm going to be covering a lot of more um survival content as well as red dead that's going to continue and also i'm going to be picking up the pfs5 shortly or should we say soon hopefully it's not delayed on us so stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one take care